Metal particles in lube oil analysis. In this video, we will discuss what indication we will get from metal particles in lube oil. One. Iron Fe. Iron is the most commonly used material of construction and the most commonly found. Where metal and used lubricants. Elemental iron is usually found in the form of cast iron, carbon steel, and high alloy. Steel such as is used in shafts, cams, and valves. Most machinery cases are manufactured from cast iron. 2. Most roller bearing rolling elements and races are manufactured from carbonized steel. Most gears are also manufactured from carbonized steel. Most machinery shafts, cams, and valves are manufactured from high alloy or stainless steels. These high alloy steels contain trace amounts of nickel, chromium, and sometimes titanium. 2. Copper, clue. Copper is almost always found in the form of an alloy. Usually brass, copper and zinc. Or bronze, copper and tin. These high copper alloys are referred to as yellow metals. Copper is also used in some heat exchangers and can leach into the lubricant. Copper can also be found as additive. Few lubricants have a copper based anti wear package. Mostly gear lubricants. These lubricants will generally have less than 300 ppm copper present. 3. Tin, SN. Tin is a common alloying metal used in Babbitt sleeve bearing overlays. Most Babbitt alloys used in industry are tin based. Tin will be the major alloy component. Another source of tin can be leaching from solder joints. Four. Lead, PB. Lead is also an alloying metal used in Babbitt sleeve bearing overlays. Most Babbitt metal is tin based. However, in electric motors and engines, most Babbitt metal is lead. Other sources of lead include leaching from solder joints, corrosion resistant paints, used on the inside of cases, older equipment, and sealing compounds. 5. Aluminum, L. Aluminum is often used as a primary material of construction for cases and engine blocks. Aluminum can also be an alloying metal, as in aluminum bronze. Many sleeve bearings and bushings are overlaid with aluminum. Aluminum is also found in some sealing compounds. 6. Chromium, CR. Chromium is most often used as an alloying metal in high alloy and stainless steels. Trace amounts of chromium with higher amounts of iron usually indicate shaft wear. Chromium is also used as a plating metal such as chrome plated rings. 7. Nickel, Nye. Nickel is also an alloying metal in high alloy and stainless steels. Trace amounts of nickel with higher amounts of iron usually indicate shaft wear. 8. 
Titanium, T. Titanium is also an alloying metal in high alloy and stainless steels. Titanium can also indicate turbo charger wear. Nine. Zinc, Zn. Zinc is an alloying metal in brass and some bronze metals. Trace amounts of zinc may be seen spectrographically in severe brass or bronze wear situations. Zinc is usually found as an additive. Top zinc provides anti-wear properties. It is also part of the ZDDP additive package with phosphorus where it is generally found at or near the same level as phosphorus. When found without phosphorus, it is generally found below 200 ppm. Ten. Antimony, SB. Antimony is an alloying metal in lead-based Babbitt metals. Trace amounts of antimony may be seen spectrographically in severe lead-based Babbitt bearing wear situations. Antimony is usually found as an additive. As an additive antimony is also an EP lubricant found in some gear oils. Generally it is found below 100 ppm. 10. Question for you. Sodium is contamination found in lube oil. Can you guess the source of contamination? Please reply in comment section of this video. Please like and subscribe our channel. Please hit the bell icon for the notification of latest videos. Please write in comment section on which topic you want our next videos.